Hey guys, my name is Miranda Muniz. I'm a senior at Cameron University, the SES department. Um, this year we, I did capstone and I picked athletic training as my thing to do this year. And my site where I had to report was in Elgin and I met at Elgin Public Schools with my supervisor, Big Dan. Um, most of the time I spent my time on the football field, um, at practices and games to help the athletes and to help him do what he needed me to do. Um, some of my responsibilities as a athletic trainer was to make sure we took care of our athletes and making sure that all the injuries were taken care for and I used tape or ace wrap if they got injured to their knees, ankles, anything that you can injure during the game. Also, I helped maintain the equipment. Some football helmets came undone so I had to fix them and so the players could go back on the field and they could play in the game. Also, I had to inspect the field before every game to make sure it was safe enough for our players to play and they couldn't trip over anything. Um, so we could avoid injuries that way. So my supervisor was Big Dan. Um, he's been an athletic trainer for over 20 years and he was really awesome. He was really patient with me and he taught me a lot that I didn't know that went into athletic training and I just appreciate his time that he took. Um, so some of my strengths that I learned throughout my internship was taping and ace wrapping for sure because those were the most common um, things I needed to help with during my internship especially working with football players and cheerleaders so I'm gonna go ahead real quick and demonstrate um, my ankle wrap so just give me a minute guys, I have my pre-wrap here and I also have my tape that I'm going to use here. And I also have my little handy sharp that will cut off the wrap after I'm done doing this. So I'm just going to go off and start off with pre-wrapping, starting in the middle of the shin and working our way down. And by the way, this is Crystal. She is our lab tech if you haven't met her. Go see her during our love our lab hours and she'll help you do whatever you guys want to do. Alright guys, I'm going to start off with my tape here, and we're going to start off with doing three anchors on her shin to start off with. say one of the things I do need to prove on is um, ripping this tape. It does take kind of a talent to do it. And then we'll do that. We're going to do another anchor every time we do a stir up. Just one. And then we're just going to close it up. 
last anchor around the top just to secure it. This one, I'm just going to go straight back. Do you. And then you're going to do two of these. And we're going to cover the top. say that's something I need to work on because I tried to force it where I wanted to go but I just kind of have to let it do its own thing and we're gonna do this twice on each side so it can be secured. you do that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take it off real quick, but there's the lovely surrounding taped ankle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I would just like rip it off. Here, look at it. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> all right guys so as you can see I still need practice with taping and ripping for sure as some of my improvements um it does take a lot of practice and it is hard but I could do it also some improvements I need to know is my kinesiology and that's just really important to know, especially with the coaches and the athletes when they talk to you. Um, some of the objectives that I learned that are expected of me actually were communication with athletes and coaches that I know what was going on. 
Um, my critical thinking skills was very important. Um, what actions I needed to do if something happened to someone. Um, my main challenges this semester, sorry, I'm like breathing really loud. <laughs> Um, was definitely traveling for me because I did live out of town and um, it took me a while to get to Elgin from school sometimes because I had to work on homework and I had to stay late um, late nights at the games especially when they were out of town I got home late and still had to do homework um, and just making sure my group projects were completed especially since my Group mates are student athletes and I had to try to schedule with them a perfect time to work on things and also maintain my grades. Some of the benefits and rewards I got through were the relationships I have gained with the students. They were really nice to me and I got to know them. Um, something else was um, my relationship with my supervisor, Big Dan. Um, like I said, he was really great, and we just have a special bond now. My plans for the future is to hopefully go to grad school, but I'm going to take a year off because I'm going to be in the process of moving, and I just want to make sure that I have all my requirements met for the program that I get into, so we will see about that. Um, what is this? Um, discuss what I wish would have known before I started internship was it takes lots of time and um, time and hours to get what you need and and you really got to work with school and if you have a job you got to balance all those and it became difficult at times but you know, I made it work and something that everyone should know in our department is that our professors are great. You need to use them. They're beneficial. They will help you, guide you in the right direction of what you want to do. Um, don't be scared to ask some questions. They may look mean, but they're really not. They're like the nicest people ever. And, you know, just be friends with everybody because you're going to be with these people all through the years till you graduate. And you're going to be doing lots of group projects, so it's good to know people and get um, build great relationships with them. So, but that was my experience, and I hope you all have a great semester, and thank you for listening.